NQ Dry Tropics organised a bus trip to take growers from the Burdekin to go look at NDRIP, a new advanced drip irrigation system being trialled up in Mariba. And along the way we visited the Sugar Research Australia variety breeding station up in Moringa, just outside of Gordonvale. Looked at the, the cross-breeding of the new varieties coming out and the process that uh, goes into developing those varieties. Moringa was established in 1917. We've only just recently celebrated our uh, centenary. We're the main breeding station for the whole Australian sugar industry. So pretty much almost every variety grown commercially, they originate here at Moringa. It's an exciting opportunity to show these growers from the Burdekin exactly what we do here. It's quite unique what we do here. We are only one of two locations across the whole Australian sugar industry that do cross-pollination activities. We are the main station, and so it is exciting to come and show them how we produce commercial varieties which may end up being grown commercially on their own farms. We also attended the Rotary FNQ field day. We visited NDRIP, which was the drip irrigation system. So we all gathered around the stall at the field day and uh, Endrip gave us an overview of their product. It sparked a lot of questions. After that is we were able to then go on farm and uh, see how it actually functioned in field. Don't be deceived by the simplicity, but it's, it's as simple as that. We connect from that hydrant. There's a water meter there with a transmitter that will show us how much water is being uh, taken and how much water is going through the system. It goes through the drum and all what it does, it's regulating the head pressure and then it goes both ways. We went out to two demonstration sites, one in sugarcane, one in watermelons. It really started sparking some interest with growers. Uh, the discussions generated uh, really showed a lot of interest, a lot of healthy discussion around how to adapt it for a burdekin setting. We've got plenty of water, right? But where we're looking at is, is saving the water, obviously, to be better for the reef. If we don't use as much electricity, we're going to have savings because electricity is going up so much. I feel like the trip was a great success. Their farmers now contacting me want to trial the product in the Burdekin. The modularity and flexibility of it is uh, one of the strongest aspects of the system in the fact that it can be widely adopted in the Burdekin industry to a flood irrigated system. And um, I hope that we can work to set up some of these trials in the Burdekin in a local setting and be able to put some numbers to it so that we can really affect broad scale adoption of this particular system in a flood irrigated setting like the Burdekin.